Welcome to another lesson with Kumalo M, the Geography Sangoma. I hope you have enjoyed the previous lesson and the lesson that was presented by Sarah. And um, if you have not followed us uh, uh, on our YouTube channel, just click uh, the subscribe button, Geography with Kumalo M, and you will get more of our lessons. Remember, the trial is on the way. We are going to be writing our trial soon. But today we are going to be looking at economic geography, the South African industrial regions. Now, what I'm going to, to talk about today, grade 12, is what you are going to uh, be writing about this year. So the South African industrial region, let's see what is needed or what we have to understand in order for us to be able to pass this topic. As always, we start with our examination guideline. Now, you can see, Grade 12, that this is a rotational topic. Economic geography has rotational topics. So, we are going to look at here, with the arrow that I'm showing here, we are going to deal with the Gauteng PWV and the Port Elizabeth Unten Hague. So, for, for the year 2023, you are going to be writing about the Gauteng PWV and the Port Elizabeth Unten Hague. No Deben Pine Town, no Southwestern Cape for this year. So, we only deal with these two industrial regions. And now, most importantly, grade 12, that other industrial regions, you must know them. But what should you know on them? You should understand their location. Where is the Devon Pine Town located? Where is the Southwestern Cape located? But the long questions will only be on the Gauteng PWV and the Port Elizabeth Unten Hague. Now, those are the two prescribed uh, co-industrial regions that are taught this year in 2020. Three. Now, the key facts to concentrate on regards to the prescribed co industrial region. So, now when you study, remember our examination guideline, grade 12, it acts as what we call the scope of the final and the trial examination. So, now the uh, what you should focus on, you can see the, the map showing their location. So you must know where these industrial regions are located. And then you look at the factors that are influencing the location of the prescribed region. So we have to look at the main industrial activities in the prescribed industrial region and the factors that favor and the factors that hinder these core industrial regions. And then you must also look at the economic and the social impact of the core industrial regions. And also we are going to look at the case studies that illustrate the two above uh, what we call industrial regions, the core industrial regions in South Africa. Now, let's look at these four industrial regions. Those are the four major. It means there are some industrial regions, but we are looking at the four major industrial regions in South Africa. As you can see, I've highlighted of, or I've underlined the PWV, which is also called Gauteng. And then I've also underlined the Port Elizabeth Unten Hague, or it also can be called the Nelson Mandela Bay. Others, they call it Kabeja. So now these two, they are very, very important for the year 2023, you are going to be examined on them. But we have the Devon Pine Town and the Southwestern Cape. We just only have to know the location of those two only. Then the only two we focus on will be the PWV and the Port Elizabeth Unten Hague. You can see now the PWV grade 12, it is located in the Gauteng province. The, the Devon Pine Town is located in KwaZulu Natal. The Port Elizabeth Unten Hague is, uh, is located on the Eastern Cape province. The Southwestern Cape is located on the Western Cape uh, province. But remember, I said, only the PWV and the Port Elizabeth will come as a your long uh, questions. Let's move on grade 12. Now, let's start with the PWV. The Pretoria Vets Vets Rand and Frnacheng industrial region, or you can just call it the Gauteng region. The reason for the development of this industrial region was the discovery of what? Of gold. That led to people migrating, meaning that they are moving to the area. This was called the gold rush. 
as a result, the population grew and it led to the rapid development and industrialization of this area. And the industrial region is situated in Gauteng province. So now, this industrial region was discovered or it was, it came about uh, or it was developed because of what? Of discovery of gold. Now, those who are doing Sisutu, they will know that when we talk about the word Hauta, it means gold. So, it was the discovery of gold that influenced this location to be developed. Now, the industrial region, it started due to the discovery of gold. And these was called the gold rush because now people were moving, were migrating. Remember in settlement, you learned about the, uh, the, the migration, rural urban migration, when people move from rural areas into urban areas. But now we're talking about this migration. People are moving from their rural areas or they're moving from anywhere in South Africa, migrating into Gauden. What was the reason for them to migrate, grade 12? Was the discovery of gold. And they knew, they knew that there were job opportunities in the Gauden province uh, where there were mines and then grade 12 we look at the map above that shows how the pwv gauteng region has developed into a conglomerated as a resulted as a result of industrial development conglomerated agglomerated now there are mixed industries that are found there a group of different types of industries they are found in in in, in that particular area which is gauteng this is a vast area of industrial development with a number of interlinked towns, cities which function as a single economic hub. There are a diverse number of industries in the PWV. So there are so many industries that you will find in the PWV, which is the Gauteng. So it is linked to these uh, cities and towns. Your Pretoria, where you find a, 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 a certain industry. Your Johannesburg, which is the vest versus rent. You find a, a industry industries there, your Frnacheng there in Val, you find your industrial, your industries. So it is made up of different industries in different places. So different places will have different industries within the province of Gauteng. That's where we talk of the PWV as a core industrial region. Then, now let's look at the factors that in, are influencing the location of the PWV, the Gauteng industrial region. Now, why is Gauteng a industrial region because now these they favor this region now there is a large labor force now what are we talking about grade 12 when you talk about the large labor force we are talking about skilled and unskilled people so skilled people will be those people grade 12 who have acquired knowledge and training but unskilled or semi-skilled they are not trained to do a particular job and then there is availability of water in the region it favors or it has influenced the location because there is an availability of water there is an av availability of transport network now when you talk about transport network we've got our railway we've got our uh, a, a, a road transport we've got our airport uh, we've got a, a variety of transport uh, systems now We've got electricity power. We've got the flat land, which is gentle. Now, the flat land, remember, Great Twelve, is very important. It has affected or it has influenced the location of this industrial region because in a flat land, Great Twelve, we can construct, we can build industries uh, where there can be industries because of there is a flat uh, surface or the flat land them availability of raw materials there is an availability of raw we've got a variety of raw materials here in Gauteng so there's an availability of raw materials so you can see these are factors that has made this industrial region to be possible and become an industrial region so they've influenced the location of this particular uh, industrial core industrial region which is known as the PWV now, what are the factors influencing the location of the PWV? Let's go into details. In, in Gauteng, we've got a good transport network. As I've said, grade 12, we've got the road, the rail, and the air transport. Which is the road? We see our R21, our N4, all these roads we see as we go up and down in town. We go to visit our friends, we go to visit our families, we pass 
through these roads. We've got the railway. We have seen, I believe you have seen so many railways here in Pretoria. You go to Pretoria, there's a railway, you go to Joburg, we've got a railway, you go to Furnaheng, we've got a railway. So, and then we've got our airport, our OR Tambo International Airport in the Gauteng province. So you can see now that we've got a good transport network. So it's not only one mode of transport that can be used in this region, but we've got three mode of transport that can be used. Unfortunately, here in Gauteng, we don't have an ocean, so we don't have a harbor. So that is one of the problems that we have in, South, in, in Gauteng. We don't have a harbor. So that is the only type of transport that we do not have. But at least we have an airport. That's very nice. Where they are well linked to the regions of South Africa, especially harbors. Now, this transport network is linked to different provinces. It's linked to different regions in South Africa, and it's linked to the provinces that also have the harbor. The harbor, what is the harbor? That is where there is an ocean, and there are ships that deliver transport uh, uh, goods from one country to another, from South Africa to China, to all these countries that we trade with as our trade partners. Then another factor that influenced the location of the PWV grade 12s, it will be the large market. We've got many people here in South Africa. Then we've got raw materials available. You know that we've got gold. We've got a lot of raw materials, including crops, uh, including uh, crops that we talk about grade 12s. We even uh, 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 export beef. We even export maize. We even export a lot of things. So we've got a variety of raw materials. So we've got a raw materials that are available here in Gauteng. Then we've got the the, uh, skilled labor available it has the largest population from all the core industrial region or province you know great 12 that Gauteng it is the biggest uh, 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 it is the biggest in terms of population size so Gauteng is the largest population so that simple means that there are many people who are living in Gauteng and now, if there are many people, what does that tell us? It tells us that there will be those who are skilled and there will be those who are not skilled. So we can get a pool of labor. Then we've got large power stations are located in Gauteng and we are very close to Mpumalanga, which provides us with coal. So and uh, so that simple means that uh, we've got large power stations that are located in the PWV and coal mines are also closed. The large coal mines are in Pumalanga. Now, Gauteng and Pumalanga, we are not very far from each other. We are very close, so we are able to generate electricity and electricity can be uh, cheaper compared to uh, uh, areas that are on the outliers of the country. Now, we've got sufficient water supply. Uh, we are uh, engaged in the pro a project which is known as the TUVA project. The TU stands for the Tugela and the Tugela River and the VA stands for the Val, uh, the Val uh, 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 project. Now, we have, it has many tertiary in the education institutions for skill development. We can count them grade 12s. We've got your UP, you've got your TUT, you've got your VUT, we've got your uh, Medunsa, we've got a lot of uh, tertiary institutions, your UNISA, we've got a lot of those institutions that provide skills development. So it's one of the factors that have influenced this uh, location of this industrial region. And then we've got the flat land, which is easier for us to construct industries. And then factors that hinder the PWV or the Gauteng industrial region. Now, grade 12, the factors that hinder those are the negative factors that uh, 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 oppose negatively to the development of this industrial region. So those are, 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 are factors that makes it difficult for this industrial to, de to, to develop further. Now we look at over concentration of industries, uh, for example, the core industrial regions. So there are so many industries uh, that are grouped in one place. So we call it an over concentration of industries where we find many industries in one area then we say it's over concentrated uh, of industries then we've got strain on resources so if these industries are concentrated in one place they are over concentrated then we will have the strain on resources remember last in grade 11 you learned about the natural resources renewable and non-renewable so the non-renewable resources will be depleted and then we've got a strain on resources such as the water supply and the polar the power supply and then load shedding 
we know that this is an issue that we are facing in our daily lives load shedding we all know what load shedding is now cutting down of power now it leads and or it poses negatively to the industry so once there is no electricity production stops production reduces then there's less a uh, production and then we will be losing money as a country there's a strain on transport infrastructure such as traffic congestion when we've got a traffic jam or a traffic congestion now and then we have pwv industrial region is far from the harbors creating more expenses as i said great to i said the only thing that where i see is a problem Problem here with us in terms of transport we don't have a harbor we don't have an ocean so hence we don't have a harbor so for us to transport goods between the harbor to our province it will be expensive because of transport because it is far from our province now the industries especially heavy industries create a lot of air pollution so that's one of the problems some industries when they manufacture goods they are going to uh, uh, create more air pollution and we know air pollution is not good for us we are geographers so air pollution is not good for us it will lead into global warming which is going to affect many industries so there is a lot to talk about in terms of air pollution then labor unrest and and protest when people strike once people take it to the road there will be less production of uh, 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 in these industries and then it will lead uh, 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 to us not uh, these industries not contributing more to the GDP then safety problems such as accidents they may occur there in the mines for example power struggle between labor unions and industries uh, not finding the common ground between the labor unions such as your COSATU your NEWU whatsoever uh, uh, in the, uh, trade union uh, then they have uh, 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 when they don't find a common ground or they don't agree on certain conditions then it tends to delay pro to delay production the production decreases due to workers taking more sick leave as people become more and more and more sick then they will be taking leave not coming to work that reduces production that is why some of uh, most of the businesses they offer uh, things like medical aid so that when people are sick they may go and see the doctor so that they can recover very fast then production decreases due to workers taking more sick leave and we say the hard lockdown during the pandemics has negative impact on productivity remember we had a hard lockdown you still remember the COVID-19 lockdown it had a very big impact in our production so there was less product produced because few people were allowed to go to work and people were uh, uh, asked to work in certain numbers so it posed a negative impact on our industrial regions and on our economic development now let's look at the main industries grade 12 that are taking place in the pwv the main industries that take place activities that take place in the pwv we look at the iron and steel engineering products chemical products from sasol motor car assembly plants as fort here in pretoria cosmetics uh, such as your your things that you use to bath and uh, put on your face on your body so they they also do cosmetics and then now the economic and the social impact of the pwv or the Gauteng industrial region the industries contribute to the contribute money to the gdp so it contributes money to the gdp so it how that is how it uh, pro, uh, 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 contribute to the country so by contributing money to the gdp it contributes to the economy of south africa the the industries and in foreign exchange when we export uh, uh, our goods or of machinery so when we export or we sell to other countries grade 12 we make money so we get foreign exchange then we make money the money earned through exports increases the earnings of the regions so the money that we get from the exports it increases the money that the region gets the local people and the rest of the country both skilled and unskilled benefit by getting employment in the region so when these industrial regions uh, develop then there will be more job creation the industry serve as a market for local raw material so we serve as a market for raw material so we can sell 
those raw material so we got a market some companies reinvest in communities by providing bursaries and skills development that is giving back to the community most of the businesses they do that they give back to the community so the kids that or the children that are found in that area will be able to get bursaries and skills development so that they can be able to get jobs so that uh, we can decrease our unemployment then we come to the map work this you must know great of that this is going to be uh, integrated with map work you remember that in your paper one and paper two you are having map work so this is the topic of paper two so in paper two they may ask you uh, 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 things like the large labor pool how do you see the large labor pool you see by the settlement shapes many settlements uh, with the houses the shape settlement shape gives you uh, 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 the pool of labor and then the availability of water you'll see the dams and there's the rivers and whatsoever flatland you'll see your gentle slopes they will show you that there's flatland so industry can develop your transport network you can see there's road and look for look for railways and look for aerodromes and then you look at electricity you'll see by power lines and raw material you see your diggings your mining your cultivated lands will give you uh, or show you uh, what we call uh, 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 the the activities that are taking place within that industrial region now let's look at the port elizabeth untenhake grade 12 or the, the Nelson Mandela Metropole. Now, it is a, the smallest core industrial region in South Africa. Initially, development greatly influenced by the port. Remember the PWV, it was, influ it was influenced by what? By the discovery of gold. And this one now, it was influenced by the, 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 what? the development of a port facilities, which is now the harbors. Now, and this in the core industrial region, it is uh, uh, located in the Eastern Cape province now what are the main industrial activities that take place here in the port elizabeth industrial region we've got car or motor vehicle assembly we know that we've got Volkswagen that is assembled then so they assemble and they make tires and other other parts of the car and then they also assemble the car is not manufactured in, in South Africa, but it's assembled in South Africa. That Volkswagen is assembled in South Africa. Metal production, textile and clothes and footwear. They also get textile and clothes and footwear. is also found there on the PW, on the Port Elizabeth Untenhik, sorry. The main industrial region, grade 12, I just put pictures here. You can see the guys uh, is assembling cars there. There is metal production. And an image for you to have an idea of what I'm talking about when I talk about vehicle assembly. So they assemble cars here. That's metal production. They're producing metal products. Then let's look at here is textile. You can see women sitting next to the swing machine. They are uh, man, uh, they are manufacturing clothes or they are knitting clothes and footwear fruit canning and fish canning can also be found in that industrial region as an activity then factors that are influencing the location of uh, the port elizabeth unten hague industrial region it is closer to the harbor hence now the transportation or uh, the, the the market that is international it's easy, it's closer to the harbor so it's easy to transport or import goods so it makes the transportation to be cheaper. There is a skilled and unskilled labor supply in Eastern Cape, approximately at, at 1.3 million. There's a good supply of raw materials such as cotton fruits used for production of textile, soft drinks, and variety of fruit products. We've got a good transport network. There are roads, there is railway, there is air, and there is ports. You can see now this industrial region, it has all modes of transport that we can talk about here in the world. And then it link it is linked to the international market through harbors. So now it is easy to transport because it is linked to international market through harbors. That it means it is linked to other provinces or other countries in, in, in harbors because we are traveling over the ocean. They're centrally located in the relation of Western Cape and Devon. Now, this also a transport network. They link the Western Cape province and the Devon or the KwaZulu Natal province. They link the two provinces provinces the KwaZulu Natal and the Western Cape province they're linked by uh, this uh, transport network so it's easy to move from the Devon Paital industrial region to the west southwestern Cape industrial region 
They are closer to this Port Elizabeth Unten Hague. It has good water supply because it is located on the eastern half of the country that receives more rainfall. So you know that eastern part of the country will receive more rainfall. You are geography learners, you've learned it in climate and weather. You know why it is happening. In the eastern part, there is the Mozambique current, the Mozambique Ocean current. There is more moist air that is coming to the east than on the west part of the country. The factors that are hindering industrial development in Port Elizabeth industrial region. This is an industry region that is stricken by drought periodically. It is stricken by a natural disaster that is an environmental uh, a problem which is drought uh, where there is a shortage of water. It is located far from the mines which makes the transportation of raw materials to be expensive. It is far from the coal mines which result in high electricity cost. Now, you see, this industry region is far from Gauteng. So, if the products that we are, as we, are, we are taking from the raw materials that are taken from Gauteng, for them to reach in PE, it is very far. So, it makes the transportation to be very expensive. And also, it is far from Pumalanga and as Gauteng. So, hence, the, also the electricity cost will be very high. Sometimes, employees engage in strike, which in result in loss of production. Now, once these employees or workers, they are engaged in strike, that simple means, grade 12, that it's going to do what? Yes it's going to uh, reduce the rate of production and then we look at the economic and the social impact of the Port Elizabeth Unten Hague industrial region the industries contribute money to the GDP of South Africa so they contribute money to the GDP the gross domestic product the industries earn us a foreign exchange through the export of machinery so as we export or we sell our products outside of South Africa then the country makes money through foreign exchange and then our economy develops the money earned through the export increases the earnings of the regions you can see that it's more similar to what we have learned in the PWV and the local people and the rest of South Africa both skilled and unskilled benefits by getting employment hmm they are a bit they are much 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 more similar to the social and economic impact of the PWV now the industry serve as a market for local raw material extracted in agriculture and fishing some companies reinvest in the communities by providing batteries and skills development so this is the same thing that you have learned about the PWV so the economic and the social impacts of these core industrial regions they are more similar or we can can say they're more or less similar they are similar you can write the same things in those questions if they ask you about the social and the economic impact of these uh, co-industrial regions and then you will be also asked to, uh, uh, to to label the factors that influenced the location of the Port Elizabeth Unten Hague. Now, if I have a map like this, grade 12, I can see now, I can see there is an ocean there. So I expect my harbor to be there. So it is one of the factors that have influenced the location of this industrial region. I've got roads. You can see there are roads there for transportation. There are, uh, we've got a settlement there. So for for, for labor, the pool of labor, skilled and unskilled. We've got flat land, we've got raw materials. So you must be able to uh, locate these factors on a topographic map. This is from me, Kumalo M. I hope you enjoy this lesson and I hope you will ace that exam if they ask you any question. Now, any questions that you have, write on the comments of this YouTube video, Great 12s, and I will answer you now i've got your answer your your, your 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 request i'm going to do revision for geomorphology i'm going to do revision for all the topics but this is not for now this is me kumalo m the geography sangoma have a lovely day bye bye